Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we have got a cow with a swollen, tender left front foot in the chute. So let's get right into it, diagnose her problem, and get to fixing it. The first thing you're going to notice with this foot is it's packed with mud and dirt and debris, grass, all sorts of stuff. And contrary to popular belief, these are not the things that cause problems with cow's feet in general. Most of the time it has to do with the interior structures of the foot, most notably the pedal bone causing problems. In this case, what we've got here is a cow that's got some cracking along the top here, some sole separation, which is likely going to lead to a white line lesion. So let's start on this process of trimming her and we'll see what we got. The wheel I'm using right now to trim this foot is not an abrasive type disc. It's not a sanding type disc. What this is is actually a cutting wheel. It's got carbides in it that shave the hoof, so there's no heat created when I'm working on this claw. Another question I've been getting a ton lately is, does it hurt when I'm trimming a cow's foot? And when you're shaving this hoof like this, this is much like us trimming our fingernails. This, there is no nerve endings or any sensation inside the, the hard layer of horn that I'm removing right now. It's just like our fingernails. As long as we don't cut too deep, there's no sensation there. It may tickle a little bit, but it does not hurt. What is that spray you use, and why don't you wash the foot before you start working on it? And you're going to see with this trim as we progress, I could never possibly get that lesion clean with all these layers of hoof over the top. How can you tell the horn is loose and whether or not you should remove it? Here, it's pretty plain to see. We've got a layer of separation there that I need to get my knife underneath and lift away from the lesion that's hidden underneath. How do you know how deep to go, and how do you keep from cutting the live tissue underneath? We use specifically designed knives that, are, that have a hook on the very end of them that allow me to hook that hoof and pull away as I cut. I'm able to remove these large chunks of hoof, like this one, without damaging that underlying corium, or in this case, a lesion that is protruding from that sole. Are the lesions painful? Yes, they are. That's why we need to remove all of the loose horn from around it from, to keep the debris from packing back into that area and to allow our medication to get in there to help heal that lesion up. Are these problems caused from walking in slurry all the time? The answer is no. Like I mentioned earlier, the majority of hoof problems have nothing to do with slurry or manure or anything like that. What causes these has a lot to do with cows being on concrete. Concrete is an unforgiving surface, so when they slip, a lot of that force is exerted and inside the foot causing problems. In this case, what happened is the white line area, which is the area between the outside wall of the hoof and the sole of the foot, developed a crack in it. That crack became infected and over time this lesion formed. Now we've got some digital dermatitis that has infected that lesion which is what we're dealing with now. So like I said before we need to remove all of the loose hoof from around that, get it cleaned out thoroughly, and then apply some treatment to kill the bacteria that caused this lesion. Hooves are designed to be able to deal with uh, the outside forces of nature, mud, dirt, filth, all those things. It's designed to do that. However, what it's not designed to do is be able to handle hard surfaces all the time. Now, unfortunately, with a lot of the uh, environments that cows live in, there's no way to avoid concrete. 
Just like us, we spend a lot of time on concrete and we end up with foot problems too. The same thing happens with cows. Because this cow is tender on this foot, because of this lesion, we need to keep her from walking on that. So what I'm gonna do now is glue a rubber block to the other claw. That's gonna elevate that injured claw off the ground, keep her from putting any weight on it, and give it time to heal so that she's no longer in pain. Why don't cows have shoes on all the time like horses do? The reason is there's not a good way to affix a, a horseshoe type uh, footing to a cow. The outside wall of, the, of a cow's foot is nowhere near as wide as a horse. Makes it almost impossible to drive a nail in there to do anything of that sort. And these rubber blocks, though they're good for short-term uh, uses, are not uh, reliably kept on with that glue. Sometimes they fall off and that would lead to imbalance. We're going to zoom in here and you can get a good look at what this lesion looks like. You'll be able to see all the way around the edge we removed the loose horn. And if you look real close around that lesion, you can see how it's beginning to heal in. You can see the ridges of where that lesion used to be as it's working back toward the center and closing off. That digital dermatitis, though, that has affected that lesion itself is what's keeping this from healing. So we're going to give it one last spray up, clean it off really well, and then we're going to give it its last treatment, which is going to kill that dermatitis. The powder that I'm applying now is called salicylic acid. This is what's going to be used to help kill that dermatitis that's on that lesion, as well as give this cow some pain relief in the meantime. The next thing I'm going to do is apply a light wrap just to hold this treatment in place for a few days. This wrap is not meant to keep the area clean, it's just to hold that product in place to keep the large debris out to allow that lesion to heal. And here you can see close up exactly what that block looks like after it's glued onto the foot. And now she's ready to go back to her pen. You'll notice as she leaves, she'll take her first few steps and she looks like she's expecting to be in pain. But then once she figures it out, she realizes she's not. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and for all of my new subscribers out there, this will help answer a lot of those questions you probably have. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you all on the next one.